Hi, this is John with Stellar Technologies. Today we've got a fun one. We're going to talk about Dell Client System Naming Schemes. Alright, so the main things to know with these model numbers is your first digit is going to indicate your spec level. Uh, the second one is going to indicate your screen size on the system you're looking at. The third digit is just which generation of Dell system that's in. And the fourth one is just gonna be your feature indicator if there's something extra on it. So Dell follows this naming pattern for pretty much all of their client systems. Your Inspirons, Latitudes, Optiplexes, XPS systems. All of those are gonna use something similar to this. Uh, unfortunately, some of these are not hard and fast rules. Uh, there are a couple different baseline specs where uh, you know, with one it'll indicate that it has a touch screen because that is a feature and the other one that's just standard for the whole spec so it'll seem like it doesn't. So we're just going to go through some of the systems on our website and we are going to kind of talk about how each model gets that name. Uh, and the reason that we like to talk about this is when you're going through our site or Amazon uh, or anywhere really that sells these laptops, they're going to have these model numbers but they're not necessarily gonna have the specs. And, and I know that it gets really annoying having to click into each system and then go, oh, but does this have a decent processor? Is it, you know, is it one of the lower end ones where you're not gonna see the amount of performance you want? So we're gonna go now and look at a couple of systems. Uh, the first digit in these names is gonna indicate kind of the base spec level of this system. It, it won't always mean that like, everything's top of the line if it has a nine or a seven to start out with. But you can kind of bet that, you know, a, a 3000 one is gonna be a little less expensive and you're not gonna get as much um, power out of a system that starts in like the 7000 series. All right, so we'll start looking at this 7000 series. It's a Dell Latitude 7410, as you can see. Uh, it has an i5 uh, with an up to 4.4 gigahertz clock speed, 16 gigs of RAM, and a solid state. So this is gonna be, you know, it's $1,300. It's gonna be among your higher end of this laptop series. Whereas this Latitude 3310, you'll see it's only got eight gigs of RAM. It's got an i5, but the boost speed isn't uh, quite as high. Um, so that's, you know, kind of an example of that first digit. Uh, it's the same thing with Optiplexes. You'll see this Optiplex 3060 has an i5 with only eight gigs of RAM and a slightly smaller solid state uh, and a hard drive in it as well. All right, so the second digit, the one that's in the hundreds place of most of these Dell systems is gonna indicate your screen size. On laptops, this is gonna have a digit. Typically, it's gonna be a three, a five, or a seven. Sometimes they'll use a four as well because that'll indicate a 13.3 inch screen. But you'll see here on this Latitude 5520, this one has the 15.6 inch screen. And then on this 7410, that's got 14 inch full HD screen. With Optiplexes, this one's always gonna be a zero because Optiplexes are gonna use, uh, they're gonna use an external monitor uh, unless it's an all-in-one. I don't have an example of an all-in-one right now, but I believe those ones will indicate what the size of the all-in-one screen is. Uh, Typically, if you see a seven on those, that'll be like a 27 inch monitor or a four will be a 24 inch. The third digit in these model numbers is gonna indicate which Dell generation line is. So just make note of that. It's not gonna indicate the generation that your processor is. For instance, with laptops, they've got 10 plus different generations. Some of them shared an Intel processor generation, whereas with Optiplexes, you know, there are around seven or eight generations there. So uh, you'll see eighth gen processors for uh, Intel systems in both what's considered the 11th gen of latitudes and you'll also see them in the sixth generation of optiplexes. Uh, so that one is not as important. Um, you can kind of gauge where in history or whatever you are with those systems by checking that digit, but uh, that one is not too important. And the same thing goes with the fourth digit. The fourth digit will usually indicate uh, an extra feature or just a model variant, but it's not typically predictable with XPS systems. Sometimes it'll end in a one if there's a touchscreen. On other ones, they'll end in a zero, and those will also have a touchscreen because that's default for that generation of 
of those XPSs. So I hope that's been helpful. If you have any questions, if that wasn't super clear, feel free to contact our knowledgeable tech support or sales staff or visit our website.